this is going to significantly impact what we can do. Lindsay Akins is talking about an apparent change to WestJet's dog policy. The airline posted a blog saying dogs classified as commercial imports, which includes rescues, would now have to travel as cargo. Which means they have to go through the cargo facility, both at the sending rescue and at the arriving rescue or airport. In the post that has since been deleted, the airline blamed the changes on the CBSA. City News reached out to WestJet about the changes, but their response didn't give much clarification. It reads in part, We have reinforced our procedures to ensure upon booking that we ask guests who are importing an animal, if it's commercial or personal import, to proceed accordingly. It is the guest's responsibility to meet the import requirements for both personal and commercial animals. WestJet is saying that this is something coming through from CBSA. Our CBSA contact is saying that is not correct. This is a WestJet policy. In an email obtained by City News to Positive Matches Transport Group, they state there is no national CBSA policy requirement for commercial goods such as an animal owned by a rescue organization to be checked as unaccompanied cargo when they can be carried as accompanied baggage by a traveler. City News reached out to WestJet for further clarification but did not hear back in time for broadcast. In 2019, Positive Match brought 80 dogs to Calgary from the United States and Mexico. Dogs here like Lizzie looking for their forever home. Now with these new regulations, they say those numbers will be significantly impacted. We would need a representative from the rescue to be able to go to the cargo facility to represent Positive Match. It's doubled the cost and that is just not sustainable. Aiken says currently about 75% of their animals, mostly strays or animals from high kill shelters, travel to Canada on WestJet flights with volunteers. This change not only impacting local shelters, but their U.S. and Mexican partners. They rely on partnerships like ours and other ones in Canada to be able to get their dogs out of there where they don't have a chance of adoption. Confusion still remains on what the policy is surrounding transporting animals, specifically rescue animals. Now, as for Positive Match, well, they have several transport flights booked in the coming months, and they hope that there'll be some sort of resolution so that they can continue to welcome animals to homes here in Canada. In Calgary, Ali Miller, City News. WestJet has now reached back out to City News with a statement clarifying their position, saying in part there has been no change to WestJet's policies or fees. WestJet nor CBSA require animals traveling as commercial imports to go as cargo. We sincerely apologize for the confusion this has caused.